Okay guys, we're going to go ahead and configure this new F3 EVO board. So, go ahead and open up Betaflight. Alright, and uh, hopefully I'm doing this, I'm just going to do it the same way as the old board. Not too sure what... uh what firmware they were using but uh, it doesn't really matter it should be the same thing so SP racing f3 Evo got all that in there and now I'm gonna go ahead and plug my board in I don't know if there's a bootloader uh, button or whatever but uh, I hope this works this is my first time plugging my board in so it's installing the drives drivers and whatever I hate the fact the sticky tape under my board is just it's not it's not leveling the board out at all. Probably just replace that with something a little bit better. Cuz when I go to I can't even calibrate my board now cuz when I go to do that, calibrate the accelerometer, it's going to be off cuz I can clearly see my board's not leveled. Hopefully that isn't a big problem. I'll just try to figure something out. All right, still looking for drivers. This may take a while. Oh wait, I, I think I have this. All right, it's all done. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and load that firmware. And uh, let me hit flash, see what happens. Okay, grabbing the bootloader. I guess I gotta plug my board out and plug it back in or something. Let me see. Yep, there we go. Always wants to do it in DFU mode. Alright, successful. Board's been reconnected. Let's just go ahead and connect. <clears throat> okay. Eh. I'm just going to try to level this out so I can at least calibrate my accelerometer the first time. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, looks like the sticky tape is uh, finally complying with me. Or not. It just, uh, it just moved. <laughs> Alright, I'll figure that out later. Let's go to ports. Um, I'm guessing this is the exact same as the Tiny. So on UART 3, you're going to want Serial RX on. Go ahead and hit save and reboot. That's weird. Didn't connect back. Jump down to the configuration tab. Um... Let's go ahead and put in 32,000 here. Wouldn't allow me to change it. <clears throat> and as always, I like my uh, minimum command at 120. Minimum throttle at 1,000. Serial RX over here, 1024 Spectrum already in there. Uh, let me see. Now this board has a buzzer port, which is nice. So if you got a mini buzzer, you could probably hook it up so you can get uh, your battery readings or whatever. And uh, yeah, there's nothing else in here, so let me just make sure I got everything. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, save and reboot. Oh, 
Okay, let me grab my receiver. Plug that bad boy in there and uh, grab my transmitter and make sure everything's good on the uh, receiver tab. And then we'll head over to uh, what you call it. Change this to JR Spectrum. Okay. Alright, that looks about right, that looks about right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry guys. Whew. Okay, all my switches work, everything works just like the, uh, the other board. So now, I'm going to go over to... Did I hit save? I don't think I did. Hopefully I did. Uh, yeah, I did. Alright, so... Time to put in these pids. I'm going to use the exact same pids I used on uh, the King Kong N32 and also the Tiny F3 board. <laughs> Sorry guys. I feel like I'm getting a cold or something. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is wrong with me? That's just my receiver going all crazy. I mean my uh, transmitter. I had my trim like way up there. All right, so hopefully that's about good. Um, now it's... I'm not done yet. I thought I was, but I'm not done. <laughs> I got to go hit save again. Got to go put in my arm and uh, everything. Okay, well, I think that's it. <clears throat> I don't know of anything else I need to do, but um, I'm going to try to fly this board. So, I'm going to go hook up my FPV, uh, FPV gear and uh, <clears throat> make sure everything's stuck down properly. Let me just make sure I calibrate this one more time.
I gotta level that out perfectly first. But um, anyways, guys, this is it for this uh this episode, and I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, thumbs up, subscribe, share. Um, go follow my Instagram, three D Print underscore RCRT. I'll be doing a giveaway of that frame I showed you guys earlier. Um, so look out for that starting on Tuesday of this week. And it's pretty dark out right now. I live in New York, so, you know, it gets dark, like, really fast. But um, I'll see if I could get some fly footage. If not, look out for a video on Tuesday. I will be definitely uploading some flight footage. And I won't plug my battery in. Uh, I'll make sure I check my polarity on my battery before I plug it in. <laughs> because that's that's just sad. I have to figure out what's up with that tiny uh, F3 and see if I can fix it. Because that's a really micro size flight controller. And I would love to have it for some really smaller builds. But um, as for now, this is Casey with 3D Print RCRT. And uh, I hope you guys have fun out there flying your quads. And you know, just be careful, you know. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And uh, I'll always be here to help you guys out. Alright, have a good day guys. Thanks, bye.